Hey guys, it's Ben. I am Max Science. Hello, hello, I'm Leo. And today we will be reviewing Top Gun. Warning, spoilers ahead. <coughs> Top Gun is a classic Tom Cruise movie, with a sequel being planned for later this year. The movie is about flying planes. Meow, plane noises. Oh yeah, and it's also about the people who fly the planes as well. I really like this movie because it was very well explained, and the special effects and the acting was just superb, and especially for like a movie made in the 90s, early 2000s. The special effects in it were just unbelievable. What I liked about Top Gun was I thought the casting was very good, with Val Kilmer, Tom Cruise and Tim Robbins. My favourite actor in this movie has got to be Tom Cruise, I played Maverick. He really suited up well, he was a strong, didn't give up, he was a leader. He showed the bosses of the airline, but he didn't want to give up easily. Even though he sadly lost best best friend Goose in a plane crash, he wanted to show that he wasn't a quitter, he wanted to show that he was a fighter. And they wanted to stay on and prove them wrong. And eventually, in the end, he did. So that's why pe more people like him should believe in themselves instead of failing the first time and then giving up. But instead, keep on trying, keep on trying, and eventually they'll complete what they accomplished. And that's why I think Tom Cruise looks as well. Now, there was many actors now, many actors that I could have chosen, but I think that Tom Cruise was really good and he suited this role. My favourite character in this movie was Goose, and he died, and that was sad. Also, there's some ups and downs in this movie now. I've really talked about like, the good stuff I liked, but the bad stuff. But, like, it was very rushed. They have like slowing down and getting into it. Once, there was one scene, for example, there could be like a plane thing. The next time the scene's over and they've gone out for dinner. It, it was really rushed. I think it'd be better if they explained it more. Well, it was very well explained, but they took the time and gave the scene a little bit longer just to get more enjoyment and excitement out of it. Because like, once they were in the air, the next thing you, know, you could blink or look away by accident, the next thing you know, the scene's over. It would be better if they did a bit more of the scenes. And it was a great movie, and there were a lot of scenes in that were very well explained, but I felt like they were, most scenes were good, and some of them were too fast and not slow enough. And they moved very quickly. So if this movie to be filmed again, I would ask could you film some scenes slower and leave them a bit longer so we can see what's going on. Overall, I really liked the movie. I thought that the acting was really good, and so was the action sequences and the storytelling. But if I could change one thing about it, I'd probably want them to develop the side characters and the other pilots a little bit more. Because this kind of felt like they're in the background and not really doing too much. I would give Top Gun a solid 8.5 out of 10. Well, overall, I would give Top Gun around an um, 8.2. I'm doing a mirror shot for my review. I'd rate Top Gun a 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty good, but it's not great. Still pretty good, though. Now introducing guest star Michael Bucci. Introduced by guest star me, Jack. I'm Michael Binchy, but if you're watching this podcast, you probably know that already. So recently, I went with the main cast of the podcast, Max, Leo, and Ben, to um, see a film in the cinemas, Top Gun. I know the first thing that comes to mind is, Top Gun, that film from the 80s? Yeah, it's being rescreened because for some reason they've decided a good time to release a sequel is, um, is a few months soon um but yeah i was asked after watching it if i could just give a little review for the podcast and um so yeah that'll be it my first thoughts on the film is well me being a bit of an an aviation fanatic i i really like the action sequences in it with like all the f-14s dodging the migs and everything um yeah that was really that was class um and the um and the in-between bits are were pretty solid. 
It's just there were some moments where it felt a bit dated, like you definitely could tell it was from the 80s. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if they want me to add a spoiler or not, but yeah, spoiler alert now. Uh, basic plot is this uh, this this clever good good flying pilot called Maverick, who's a little full of himself and a bit goes a bit off the rails at times, is um is asked after a mission to go to this academy called Top Gun in America. Basic idea of the of the academy is to um is to reinstate the uh, lost art of dogfighting in the air. So it mainly follows his adventures in that. Overall, I think that the plot is that it's a good film, albeit with a bit 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 of dated at times. But overall, good film. My rating would be hmm, eight out of ten, I'd say. So yeah, uh, bye for now. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye. I'm pleasure to say and a good tomorrow.